let's reboot the mister just so you can see how long it takes. And let's get into some console action. I'm going to make a separate video for each console. First, first one I want to start off with is the um, NES. And you can have these when you load the cores. You can have it automatically load a default game if you want to. But I have not set any default game. So it just comes up with the menu where you can select what ROM you want to load. And as you can see, it can take uh, different types of ROMs. So we're just going to hit the A button on top of load. You can right arrow and you can change cores or define your um, keys. So let me go ahead and define my uh, controllers here. Press right, left, down, up. A button, B button, select, start. That's for the floppy disk. I'm not sure what that is. Um, this thing can do the, the floppy games. They had a floppy add-on in um, Japan. I'm just going to skip that, skip that. It's It has light gun support if you're using analog displays. I'm just going to skip all those because I don't have a power map, which is kind of like a twister kind of thing you step on, like a Dance Dance Revolution kind of map. I don't have that. I'm not going to define that. All right. So anytime that you make changes, again, save those so they'll be retained. Now I can load um, a game. Let's say Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. Dun, 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 dun. Start. Let me adjust the audio on this. I don't. I'm not hearing anything. It looks like it is getting recorded. Whoop. Maybe I just need to turn my TV up so I can hear it. There we go. Oh, I had mute on my TV. There we go. Ah! Well, yes, it's Super Mario. What else might you want to play? Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, maybe? I don't know. These are pretty small games, and they load very instantaneously. Press Start. Well, you get the idea. You've got um, the entire catalog. How many games is this? It's like 15 per screen, and I'm going to do a screen at a time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 42 screens of 15. So that's a lot of games. Um, let me show you. Let me go back to Super Mario Bros. Or, um, yeah. There we go. This thing also has cheats built in, so you can go into the cheats. Uh, one life when you die. <laughs> Let's see. A lot easier spring jump. All background elements. All enemies behave like what? Hammer bros? <laughs> Just a zillion different cheats. Um, I'm sure in there there's somewhere like um, unlimited lives, no damage, all that kind of stuff. Enemies walk through objects. Uh, in the event, I don't usually mess with those, but you got the cheat options. And you can mess with the palette if you don't like the colors, and you can mess with some of the video settings if you want, like, scan lines and stuff like that. Let's see. Oh, look how blurry that is. I, I don't know how well this comes over on the recording. That's a lot sharper. Anyway, I don't generally mess with those too much. Um, 
So yeah, that's the NES Core. You've got a zillion games and they all work well and it works with a large variety of the peripherals if you want to use original peripherals with the snack adapter. And that's it for the Nintendo NES Core.